Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Hannah from Stardust. Thank you so much for coming to join me today because I've got another beautiful ballet class for you. And in today's class, we're gonna dance like princesses, princes, kings and queens. So jump up on your feet, find a big space and let's get warmed up. So we're gonna warm up today walking like a princess. So you can place your hands on your waist or you can hold your lovely dresses or skirts and we're gonna go up on our toes and you're gonna walk round in a little circle on those tiptoes. Beautiful, heads up nice and tall. And then you're going to pretend you are late for the royal ball. And I want you to run on your toes, ballerinas, as fast as you can. But remember to keep your runs really quiet. So in first position, hands on your waist or hold your dress. Up on your toes, round we go. Beautiful, teeny tiny steps, heads up tall. Very lovely walk. Good, keep those heads up like you've got a crown or a tiara on. Now pretend you're late for the ball. Can you run fast as you can on your tiptoes? Whoa, let me see your running. Very good. Now let's walk slowly again, princess walk. Next, we're going to pretend we are a prince riding his horse. So pop your feet in parallel position for this one and place your hands on your waist, keeping your head up really tall. Very good. So we're going to be on a horse and we're going to do two slow gallops. Slow, slow, and then can you do four quick ones? Quick, quick, quick. Try it with me. Ready? Slow, slow, and quick, quick. Oh, good galloping everyone. And then you can go for a little gallop around your house, pretending you're on your horse. Here we go. Ready, slow, slow, quick. Good, slow, slow, quick. Good, pick up those feet, slow, slow, quick on your horse. Lovely, slow, slow, you're good at this. Now will you gallop round, round your room. Good, like a little horse galloping. Keep those heads up. Good job, well done. Wonderful, well done. So we've walked like a princess and we've galloped like a prince on his horse. Now we're gonna march like a king. So can you pretend to put a big gold crown on your head? And I want you to stand really tall. Very good. Heads up so your crown doesn't fall off. And we're going to lift our knees really high as we march around. And because we are all ballerinas, when we march, can you point your toes to the floor? So when you lift up your foot, very good, that's it, well done. Okay, will you follow along with me for the King's Marches? Open, and on your waist, other hand. Good, both together. And march, up. Very good, lift up those knees, keep your head up tall, and open on your waist, open, on your waist, and march, good, lift up those knees, and up, on your waist, open, now we're going to march in a circle, round, and go the other way, knees up high, keep those crowns on your head, and both arms, and finish on your waist. Great dancing so far, ballerinas, well done. Now the next dance we're going to do is one of my little ballerinas' favorite dances. And it's all about princesses jumping on the bed. But the fairy godmother comes along and she waves her magic wand and she says, no more princesses jumping on the bed. So, if you 
got a magic wand at home, you can run and get it now because it makes the dance extra fun. But if you haven't got a magic wand, don't worry because you can just pretend you've got a magic wand to wave for this dance. So this is going to get us super warm because there's lots of jumping in it. So don't forget to jump nice and high and stretch your toes to the floor ballerinas. Standing nice and tall, here we go. Okay, are you ready to jump? Ready, go! Five little princesses jumping in the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Shake your magic wand. What do we say? No more princesses jumping on the bed. Good turn. girls, listen. Are you ready to jump even higher? Princesses jumping on the bed. Sparrows love to jump. Show me how high you can jump, jump, jump. Go. Three little princesses jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Check your wand. Fairy godmother shook her yeah, wand. Get ready. No more princesses jumping on the bed. Spin. We've got so many princesses that are. And the other way. How many do you see? Now two in four. Now six in. dancing today. Well done everyone. We're next going to practice our plies and tendus. So pop your feet in first position and we're going to dance two demi plies and plie means to bend. So bend and stretch, bend and stretch. We're then going to try and rise up on our toes. Now this is a little bit tricky so don't worry if you're a bit wobbly. We go up and down, up and down. Good job. Bend and stretch, Bend and stretch, then we're going to turn on our toes. So up on your tiptoes, teeny tiny steps to turn you all the way round. Beautiful. And we're also going to practice our lovely stretch feet. Can you show me one to the side? Stretch those toes. And in. And the other one. Can you stretch it out? Point those toes. And close it back in. Wonderful. Let's try all of that with the music. teach you and it's about two princesses that you might know and a prince. So the first princess we're going to dance like is Sleeping Beauty and we get to pretend to sleep because she pricks her finger and it makes her fall asleep. Very good. 
And the next princess is Snow White. Now Snow White takes a bite from a poison apple. So we're going to pretend to do that. And it makes her fall asleep. But these princesses find it a little bit boring to be asleep. So we say boring and I want you to show me your grumpiest faces for when you're asleep and it's boring. Very good. And they say it's boring to be snoring and we're going to pretend to sleep. But then we wake up and that's when you need your happiest faces and you get to skip around your room with your hands on your waist or holding your beautiful dresses. Lovely. Then the song tells us about the prince. So when you hear the song say the prince, we're going to step and we're going to bow for the prince. Lovely. And the other side, bow for the prince. Now the prince gets turned into a frog. So we're going to jump like a frog and you need to jump really high in this dance. Shall we have a try together? So feet together in first position. Are you ready to sleep, Sleeping Beauty? Sleeping Beauty for a turn. Show me your finger. Ouch. Very good. And no time Arms up. Sleep. Sleeping Beauty for a turn. Show me your finger. Ouch. Arms up. For a Are you ready? Years. Grumpy faces. to a special ball at the palace. Okay, so we have to think about what we might wear if we were invited to a royal ball. So maybe beautiful sparkly shoes. So we're going to point our feet. Lovely. And we might have a dress or some other special clothes to wear. 
So we have our lovely dress or our clothes. We might wear special long gloves. Beautiful. And then show off your outfit. And we need one more thing, something to go on our heads because you'd have to wear a crown or a tiara if you were going to a royal ball. So the last thing we'll do is pretend to put on our crown or our tiara, and then we can do a lovely twirl to finish. And then I'm going to teach you a dance that we could do at the royal ball. So stand nice and tall and let's get ready for the ball. Little wave, ready, show me your shoes. dress or your special clothes now gloves and the other side show off your outfit now your crown or your tiara and give me a twirl beautiful let's do that again so ready to show off your special shoes ready We're now all going to pretend we're in a beautiful ballroom at the palace and the first thing you would do if you were at a royal ball is you would curtsy or bow to your partner. So starting in first position we're going to step, step and then tuck your foot behind and you can curtsy or bow, repeat the other side, step, step, tuck your foot behind and a little curtsy or a bow. Beautiful. Then we bring our feet into first position, arms up to first, open through second, and down. And again, up, and open, and down. Beautiful. Let's try that a little bit with the music. Ready, step, 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 curtsy. Step, step, curtsy, arm. Down, and again, lovely, wonderful. So for the next part, you can either place your hands on your waist if you want to dance like the prince today, or if you've got a lovely wall dress or a ballet dress on, you can hold it to the side because we're gonna rock and we're gonna sway our dress side to side or hands on your waist and sway side to side. Beautiful. So we're going to do that four times. And don't forget to point those toes. Very good. Then we're gonna do it with some lovely soft arms. So we're gonna float our arms up very gently. Beautiful. And then we're gonna go up on our toes and turn all the way round and then paint a lovely rainbow. Wonderful, let's try from the beginning. Ready to the side. Step, step and curtsy. Step, step, curtsy first position. Arms up, open, gorgeous. And again, up, open. Ready and sway. And sway. Lovely, swish your dresses. Arms up, gently, beautiful. Ready for our turn, up, open. Lovely, well done everybody. Now the next part is a little bit trickier because we're going to dance the same moves we just learned, but faster. So we're going to step, step, and curtsy a bit quicker, step, step, and curtsy, lovely. And then we've got those lovely arms again. <gasps> Wonderful. And to finish our dance, we tuck our foot behind, 
curtsy or bow and finish tall. Wonderful. So should we try putting the whole thing together from the beginning? We do it once through slowly and then once quickly and then finish with a curtsy or a bow. Standing tall, here we go. Step, step and curtsy. Step, step. Arms open. Gorgeous. And sway. Lovely. Swish your dress and point your toes. Arms up. Beautiful, nice soft arms. Beautiful everyone. Up and open. Are you ready? A bit quicker. Curtsy your bow. And again. Step, step. First, arms. And again. today boys and girls. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick reminder that I have put a PayPal link below if anybody wants to make a donation you are very welcome to if you're enjoying my classes and if you want me to continue doing them for you. I would also love to see any little photos or videos or messages to let me know if your little ones are enjoying my classes. I love to hear from you all so a big thank you to everybody that has sent them so far. I've got a few special people to say hello to today and first on my list is two sisters from Northern Ireland and it's Scarlett and Juliet who joined in my mermaid class last week and enjoyed it so much that their mum called me and asked if they could join in my Zoom lessons. So they've joined me for ballet and for jazz this week and girls you did amazingly for your first lesson and it was really lovely to meet you both. I'd also like to say hello to Melody Sanderson, who is four years old from Cheltenham. Now, I heard that you have been a bit of a superstar, Melody, because your mum has been quite poorly. She broke her ankle, but she's really proud of you because you've been such a good girl at home. So well done, Melody. Elsie, age six, from Newcastle. You've been joining in my classes and you've been enjoying them as a little break from your homeschooling, I've heard. So well done and keep up the great work at home. I want to say hello to Lucy Strong, one of my little ballerinas who I've not seen for a little while, but I'm so pleased you're enjoying my YouTube classes, Lucy. We've got Amelie, who's five, from Canvey Island. Now, I've heard you've been missing your ballet, tap and jazz classes, but I'm so happy that you found my class last week and you enjoyed dancing so much at home. Your mum loved seeing you smiling last week and it was lovely to see you back dancing. And your little sister Hallie's been joining in today as well, so well done, girls. 
Now, Jessica, age five, from Manchester. Last week was your first time joining in one of my ballet classes. I'm so happy you found me online and I'm really pleased you're enjoying my classes. Poppy and Astrid from Sheffield. I wanna say a big hello to you girls. Thank you for joining in last week and I hope you enjoyed today's class as well. Now, we've got another Poppy who's gonna be turning four on the 24th of January. So Poppy, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful fourth birthday and thank you for joining in today. So don't forget, if you've been enjoying my classes, I am running loads of Zoom classes at the moment, which anybody, anywhere is more than welcome to join in because I love meeting new ballerinas and I'm so pleased so many of you are enjoying my classes. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day and I hope I get to dance with you again soon. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.